Thank you for staying with us. It's quite appalling that most times when Nigerians are stranded abroad, it takes individual efforts to come to the rescue. The chairman of EPIS, Alan Oyema, says the airline is willing to evacuate Nigerians stranded in the war-torn Sudan for free. Oyema said if Nigerians in the Northeast African region could be moved to a neighboring country, the airline will fly there and evacuate them as the Sudan's airspace is closed for all civil aviation flights. He insisted that everything must not be left for the government alone. Patriotic man, this is not the first time Alan mm -hmm. will be taking up yes. this responsibility. We he did so without uh, Nigerians in South Africa, mm -hmm. brought them back in batches, and this is another thing. And uh, because of the dangerous the national anthem mm -hmm. on the flights, yeah. it was um, a thing of pride to Nigerians that a Nigerian stood up to save the lives of his people. Yeah. You know, the the U.S. has already um, succeeded in evacuating uh, their the top, top diplomats. The, the operation is still on because U.S. has uh, no less than, uh, I think, 10,000 people in uh, Sudan. 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 But 100 of their diplomats were evacuated using six Chinook multi-purpose uh, helicopter. Mm. Or Yes, he can also um, be fitted with a gun. He use it both as a transport and helicopter yeah. as well as attack, attack helicopter. helicopter. You know, that was what we wanted to buy. So then, if the airspace is not that safe. Obama refused to sell to us. So if they evacuated them, what they do is um, con other countries like um, Saudi Arabia, they, uh, they first move the people by road mm -hmm. to yes. Port Sudan. Yeah, the challenge is that Port some of Sudan these neighboring countries that are demanding is, for um, visa from our people, Egypt, Eritrea. See, so Port Sudan is about 650 kilometers to hmm. Khartoum, the state capital, uh, the country's capital, because the fighting is going on seriously in Khartoum, in Khartoum. especially yeah. around the airport area. So they move people by road to Port Sudan from where they are then they are lifted to um, countries like Saudi Arabia and the rest. So if Nigerians now, that is the best bet. They will first go by road mm. to take them. And the cost of transport yes, to take them, them to, to, to that Look at uh, Egypt <sighs> has already uh, evacuated 436 of their people. Countries like France, Turkey, Ireland, as I evacuated 150. India and South Africa um, have also evacuated their people. India used the US built Charlie 130 aircraft transport uh, plane, very big transport plane that can even carry a motor. They use it to evacuate uh, their people. South Korea, they have up to 4,000 people mm. there. They are evacuating their people. Norway, Nigeria, shouldn't always be among the last. Mm. You know, a, that's a, you ask the question, because a lot of these people, a lot of the Nigerians there, are actually um, schooling. Yes. What could make people come Infantry. to the conclusion that they must go to um, Sudan to school? school. It's just a case of how are the mighty falling. I'm telling you. In those days, in those days, the three best schools in Africa in those days were Legon, Makerere in, uh, in Uganda, and Ibadan. Yeah. They had the best medical schools, and everyone, they were clearly of world class standard, and everybody was talking about those universities in yeah. Africa. The first ask them now. Uganda, Legon in Ghana, Ghana, and then the Ibadan. Yes. But today, what do we see? People don't even want to school here anymore because they believe that if they bring certificates from a uh, Nigerian university and someone comes with a certificate from maybe Benin Republic, <laughs> that person will be given 
preferential treatment mm. over you in the hunt for a job. So that's why you see people go to Ukraine, people go to now Sudan, go to school in Sudan. Sudan. Now look at, look at the danger that Pattern. people are facing. Those who went to school in Ukraine and were caught up in the, in the uh, crossfire, those ones have not recovered. Back. Now yes. we, have, we have these ones here. And no one knows when this war will end. Because it's a war between the, the military and the rebels. And the, you know, there are even Anxious. paramilitary, paramilitary, paramilitary yeah. forces. You see? Even... They, are, they, were the, they supported the government, they supported the armed forces yes. to yeah. chase away the former president. Now they have taken the war to the uh, the, to the, to the ruling uh, government, yeah. and they are in contention from key <laughs> government installations, key government offices against the government of the day. They are fighting each other with uh, air power and everything. So nobody. To this is not even safe. No, of course not. Of course not. Huh? A lot of planes that were even at the airport were, were destroyed. Mm. You know, it's only if you uh, to, you know America had to send naval seals and to, the special forces yeah. to be able to rescue their people. It's not everyone that can go there and to, uh, to the state capital where bombs are flying, or to if the country's capital where bombs are see, flying. If you see the the video, you you you'll be shocked the way the war is raging, and then you ask yourself, where did they get all these weapons? And you know, the thing that is there is most of Nigerian students who are there. They are mostly those who went to study uh, religious or, mm. and all those things. Because yes. Sudan, in fairness to them, they think they, 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 have, they are very strong in that uh, Islamic religion uh, no knowledge. Yeah, knowledge. So most of those who are there are those who went along that line. But that is also giving us some reason for us to begin to think that why should Nigerians go to Sudan for such a thing? Are there no better countries or are there no even here? Because we need to, it, there's nothing wrong having international students. But when you have in such a way that people prefer to go courses that they will not even take in our own university, even if we are better, mm -hmm. they would rather prefer to go there to go yes. and do it. Yes. So we need to to look at our situation very critically. What exactly is our problem? Why is it that people always want to leave Nigeria. Because for many, going to Sudan is just like a transitory camp, transit camp, that let me go to Sudan. From Sudan. From Sudan, Sudan I'll move for. So people will go to anywhere in search of education. Not so much because of that education, but because they just want to leave this country. So it is incumbent on us to make our country livable. And I, I suspect that although Nigeria is always the last to evacuate the citizens in any way, the reason for this one, I guess, is that, look, Sudan is Africa. We should not be in a panic mode so that when we go and bring out our people, other people, but... Why, why did Egypt, within a short time, more uh -huh. than 136 people? You know, so we must, our foreign affairs ministry... I guess we have to the, the, put, the, the, subsequent edition, we put a call through to... Something, to be kidding, something you know, had to be done. To our level of response, our address. level of response to crisis anywhere in the world mm. is... Always the one that was in Ukraine was even a disgrace. Mm. Oh. When some Nigerians uh, were trapped, they were cursing their country because they saw others. Exactly. They saw the role some more countries played to get their people And out. you know, there's also... Before it became too late. There's also some you know? sort of uh, racism in Sudan. 
Of course, it's black, always, it's always black been there. and all those and so the slaughter of black people in Sudan. Uh, is yeah, unprecedented. that was what led to the issue of uh, mm. Southern Sudan and that all that. So, and, uh, so is a is a thing that uh, we, we the airpiece chief executive. Thank you. He has always been. He has always been. He is ready, there. but the government has to lead the way. Mm. Yes, no matter exactly. how. Yes, he is ready. Yes, but the government has to the the space. Way. If they can get them yeah. out of the Sudanese airspace, yeah, but even neighboring uh, country, the the as I've said earlier, that port of Sudan, mm. more and more countries are going there. But okay. they have to, to drive six fifty kilometers, six kilometers, six kilometers, kilometers to get to that place. That's wow. where it's it's, it's uh, safe far from the That's far, the gunfire. Mm. You know, I like how you Thank you for your contribution. Mm. And the marshal himself, Papaji, the colored Thank you for always being there. And that's our offering.